So now let's get into the nitty gritty about how this class is structured. So you've enrolled in this class, you're going to take it over the next eight weeks. What are you as a student going to be doing in this class? So all of the learning material in this class and also all of the assessment that's going to happen in this class is housed in the modules here on the left. So we click modules. Here there's some preliminary stuff the syllabus, but we scroll down a little and we get to the first module, section 1.1 .1 of your textbook. And the, um, this class is structured in a very um, consistent way. All of the modules have the same basic component. So there's an introduction to the section, section 1.1 introduction in this case. And that introduction includes a video if you want to see more of my face. And it includes a brief written introduction as well. After the introduction, you'll see mandatory publisher material. So we're going to be using our textbook and videos that the publisher provided as our main source of learning in this class. We do have more stuff down here, but this is our primary mode of learning. So I'll tell you more about the textbook in a different video, but if we click this, all of these pages are going to be look very similar looking. I'm going to tell you to read a section of the textbook, and I'm going to ask you to watch some videos. And these videos are they're created by the publisher. You'll find them on the publisher's um website. So I, I guess we can go through this now. It's as good a time as any. Um to watch these videos, you'll need a student access code. And you'll get that when you buy the textbook unless you buy the textbook digitally, in which case you'll just have it automatically and you won't have to do anything else. So we go to the publisher's website and we, I'm already logged in. So you might see something slightly different because, I mean, I have a, an instructor's account here. But let's go to section 1.1. And let's go back to this. And we say that we want you to watch example two. So we'll scroll down. Actually, we'll scroll down here and we find example two, state the domain and range of a function. And you have options. There are these three different people. They're all doing the same example. It's just whose face you like the most, I guess. Let's click Betsy. Let's... And we can see a video of this example. And these videos are 
closed captioned if you need that. So um, depending on, you know, how you learn, maybe you'll want to watch all of the videos. That would be great. But I pick a few where I say, okay, I think this is especially important. Watch this video for me. And that's, again, what I've described as the primary learning material. We've got the textbook, we've got the videos, but I do have other stuff for you, supplemental learning material. So we've got Creative Commons videos, so more video material, if you want more video material. And then we've got written notes, and these are my, my written notes. So if we want um, additional notes on domain and range, we click this link. Everything's being really slow today. Here we go. We click this link and, okay, here we sort of go. Let me, uh, let me, Pause this video until the notes finish loading. So you see, we have my written notes on the domain and the range of a function. And again, these notes, the Creative Commons videos are supplemental. I mean, I describe them as such up here. They're not replacing the textbook, but they're hopefully going to give you a little edge if there's something in the textbook you're struggling with. And of course, I should say here and now, I mean, you have me, I am your professor for this class. If you've read the textbook and watched the videos and looked at the supplemental stuff and you're still struggling with something, you can feel free to reach out to me and I will get back to you and provide additional, um, additional instruction. Once you're done um, learning the material of the section, you will demonstrate your learning with a quiz. Again, everything's taking forever to load for some reason. Here we go. So a brief introduction, no time limit. I'll, I'll talk more about quizzes in a separate video. But to get to the quiz, you just click the link in the modules and I mean, this uh, canvas is structured vertically. You start at the top and you work your way down over the next eight weeks. Each chapter has a test. You um, see, once we get to the bottom of the chapter, Chapter one modules. There's a chapter one test. You click it to be taken to it, just like the quizzes. And way at the bottom, we work through all of this material. And way at the bottom, there is a final exam. And just like the quizzes and just like the tests, you just click the final exam to be taken to it. And once you have progressed from beginning to end, 
you will have successfully completed the class. You have eight weeks to do this. I have given um, each of these quizzes and each of these tests has a due date. That's not an absolutely enforced due date. You can do stuff a little late. You can work ahead. But I have provided that as a recommended schedule for you. We see. Come on, Zoom. Sorry, Zoom is being difficult. 